Good morning, everybody. It's my uh, pleasure to once again be here at the Catholic Charities Breakfast, and I want to congratulate them for all of the wonderful things they do for our community each and every day, some things that you may not even know about. So certainly look through the program and look at uh, the programs that they are operating uh, for our community. We are deeply appreciated. Your Excellency, it's great to see you here and do a fantastic job, and we, we thank you for your support uh, in many ways that, again, folks may not even know about. It's good to see my friend Dr. Murphy here, and of course, Dr. Clark, thank you for being our honoree this morning. We appreciate you doing a fantastic job at Western Connecticut State University. So this morning I was thinking a little bit about what I was going to mention to you, and I was going to be brief. I know you want to eat, so I don't want to get between you and you know, your food. But um, I wanted to share a couple of quick thoughts with you if I might have a minute or two. You know, it seems like in today's day and age, particularly with our young people, that there's this sort of aversion to God. There's an aversion to organized religion, whatever your choice may be. In fact, I have young people, and you probably too have young people, maybe your children or grandchildren or whatever, come up to you and they say to you, you know, I really don't care about that. I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in organized religion. Oh, I believe there's a God or something, maybe or maybe not, but I'm an atheist. And this past summer, I was very, very sick, and I had to go get very, very serious surgery. So I had a lot of time to think and reflect on that sort of feeling that our young people have to not embrace religion or let religion be part of their daily life. And you know, when you're in the ICU and there's three other rooms and there's a young person across the hall that's been in a horrible car accident that you know is not gonna be able to pull out of it and there's somebody next door who's in the next room who's crashing and you can hear the commotion that's happening there, you start reflecting on that. And you listen to the whispering and the murmuring going in each of those rooms because there's nothing else to do. You're alone, nobody can come and visit you and you're, you're deeply wounded after the surgery and you realize that the ICU is like the foxhole. There's no atheists in there. I didn't hear anybody around me reject God then. I heard those families praying, begging for God's grace and God's mercy to bring their loved one through. And I thought to myself, if we in some way could harness that feeling that you get when you're faced with life's deepest, darkest moments, and when you finally make that turn and that pivot to God and recognize that there is something greater and someone greater than us, and put that energy to work in an everyday fashion, what a fantastic country and world this would be. And so what we need to do is work every day to try to partner with organizations like Catholic Charities, other organizations that are faith-based, and stop pushing them away. We have to work with our young people to teach them to let God be part of your life, to do the works that you need to do. Not because we're trying to brainwash people, but because God is great, and through him all things are possible. That's why organizations like Catholic Charities exist and other faith-based organizations exist as well, so that we can bring people to Christ and so that we can show people that there is a better way, a more compassionate and more caring and more loving way to take care of each other. Because at the end of the day, when all of us are faced with life's darkest moments, nobody's an atheist. So today I want to thank each and every one of you for the work that you've done. I know that there's an envelope on your table, so you've got to get your checkbooks out. Otherwise, we're going to give you a speeding ticket out on 37. <laughs> but just kidding. I'm not really going to do that. Please don't put that on YouTube and all that stuff. <laughs> but uh, if you can help us out, I know that it's appreciated. I also want to thank uh, the clergy that's in this room, uh, people that work with uh, uh, our people every single day to make their lives just a little bit better in many unsung and unheard of ways. God is truly great. God bless you, and God bless our America. Thank you.